Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Elena Dawson, who is not frequently seen these days, needs a new narrative. Every time Elena appears, Bri according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Elena Dawson, who is not frequently seen these days, needs a new narrative. When Elena does appear briefly, it's mostly merely to express how exhausted she is after working non-stop shifts at the hospital fly. She generally simply talks about how exhausted she is from working non-stop shifts at the hospital. That isn't good enough for Brittany Sarpy, so perhaps the Y&R authors should have Elena come up with a new plan with Adam Newman. Adam and Elena don't typically work well together, but that's exactly why they should. It would be a surprising partnership, which would make for exciting drama. No one would suspect Adam and Elena's relationship, which would also aid in their ability to keep their activities secret. Elena would undoubtedly still want to punish Nate for betraying her and drastically altering his attitude. When Nate entered the business world, he changed, and his callous actions caused Elena to experience heartache. Let's briefly discuss those before moving on to Adam's valid motivations for pursuing Nate. That's one against Victor Newman, who seems to respect Nate's inexperience more than Adam's. Additionally, Victor gave Adam the assignment of being Nate's assistant, which severely irks Adam. When Nate starts giving Adam orders, things can become worse, and Adam might become motivated to get Nate fired from Newman Enterprises. Adam might have high hopes of ousting Nate and replacing him as COO. Adam might then make plans to reclaim the Newman throne when Victor inevitably retires. Of course, Adam might require assistance in subduing Nate, in which case Elena could step forward. Elena might have information about Nate that hasn't surfaced yet, or she might be able to work with Adam to set up a trap for Nate. We wouldn't mind a passionate fling because there would be a possibility for Adam and Elena to become closer in the midst of all this. In the case that Sally Spectra learned, it would be an excellent method to make her envious. Overall, Adam has many reasons to hunt down Nate, and Elena might be the perfect person for Adam to work with to bring Nate to justice. Is terrible news coming Nate's way as a result of Elena and Adam's prospective alliance for retaliation? Will Adam and Elena work together to stop Nate? Guard for updates on any potential trouble as the young and the restless spoilers indicate Nate may need to guard his back. Of course, Sharon Rosales is the person Nick can depend on the most to assist him. That holds true for Sally in particular because Nick's family has never been particularly supportive of his relationship with her. If Nick went to one of the Newmans in tears, he would likely only receive a big, I told you so. It will be different with Sharon because she is more understanding of how complicated relationships can be and is less judgmental. Nick will have a lot of trouble processing the news after he tells them about Adam's lip lock with Sally. It will undoubtedly bother Nick as well that Sally delayed telling him. Sally has been hesitant to return Nick's affection, and she hasn't yet consented to move in with him. Nick may begin to question whether he really has a future with Sally after learning that she has been keeping a kiss from her ex-boyfriend. Nick can confess to Sharon that he feels that he has been ignoring red flags that he is no longer able to ignore. According to Y and R previews, Sharon will be happy to listen and will also offer advice to Nick when he asks for it. Although Sharon can't instruct Nick on how to handle these complex emotional issues, she can voice her view and offer support to her ex when he's in need. Sharon might be a little forgiving with Sally and say that losing Ava Spectra really upset her. Although Sally has been improving lately, Sharon may still be struggling with some intense emotions, which can occasionally manifest themselves in unexpected ways. Sharon may believe that Nick should bear in mind Adam's tendency for obstinacy. On the other side, Sharon won't want Nick to get wounded, so she might suggest that he continues slowly. Sharon will opine that Paul will always be there, just like it was for Sharon and Nick, since Sally unquestionably still feels connected to Adam. Fans of Schick, 
can hold out hope for a future love reunion as these touching sequences will showcase Nick and Sharon's friendship in full. It makes sense but why and are to reunite Sharon and Nick if Sally gets back together with Adam and Chance Chancellor starts dating Summer Newman. Regardless, Sharon will demonstrate that she is a trustworthy friend at this time and stand up for Nick when he most needs her. The Young and the rest of spoilers indicate that during the week of October 2 to 6, Nick will update Sharon on the most recent round of Sally drama. CDR will have additional fiery. The teaser for the October 2 Young and the Restless episode shows Sally Spectra confessing to her kiss. Nick Newman has previously been patient, but now he is tired of it. After the kiss, Nick queries Sally about how she felt about Adam Newman. Nick explodes into wrath when Sally acknowledges having conflicting emotions. To learn more about the weekly preview clip, continue reading. According to Y and R spoilers for the week of October 2, Adam and Sally are the main subjects of the preview video. Fans recall the incident where Adam kissed Sally while intoxicated. Sally didn't shove Adam away or yell at him at the time. Sally hasn't however told Nick about the kiss. Now, Sally is the kind of person who can dismiss an idea from her mind, up until somebody wants to bring it up. Adam is so familiar with Sally that he was conscious of the seeds he was sowing during that conversation after the crucial kiss. As Adam had feared, Sally became irritated when the kiss was brought up. She couldn't forget about it, but it also made her unable to. Spoilers but why and R, Sally Spectra admits. Sally is overcome with guilt in the weekly preview clip. Sally tells Nick the truth out loud because she can't stop thinking about the kiss. Nick is now fully informed of Sally and Adam's past. Nick is also aware of Adam's ongoing feelings for his ex. Sally later became pregnant with Adam's child, but the infant died. Because Nick is aware of everything, the dynamics are quite complex and intense. Feelings of Nick Newman's question Nick's face goes beet red, according to the young and the restless spoilers for the episode airing on October 2. After Sally's confession, Nick has one more question for her. After the kiss, Nick is curious to know how Sally feels about Adam. Sally makes a decision to be truthful and declares that she is torn. Nick's internal pressure cooker blows a gasket at that point. Spoilers for the second week of October on The Young and the Restless. Nick declares incoherently that he knew it, just knew it, assuming Sally's heart is cold. Nick seemed to be remorseful about sticking with Sally. Fair enough, Sally has been hiding her affections for Adam. Sally is aware that just because she has feelings for someone, it doesn't necessarily indicate that they should be back together. Nick appears to be responding to one kiss in a rather powerful manner at the same moment. Perhaps Nick is the one who really struggles with his sentiments and is really seeking for a reason to leave Sally. Sally asks Nick in the preview clip if their relationship is still going well, and he responds that he isn't sure. What does this mean for Sally and Adam, though, as Nick seems poised to explode? Make sure to stay current with everything that Y&R is doing right now. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.